Hey everybody, so I wanted to talk about this new paper that just came out. It's called A Comparison of the Hormonal Profile of Early Androgenic Alopecia in Men with the Phenotypic uh, Equivalent of Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome in Women. So I posted about this on my Facebook, but I wanted to make this video just because I thought it was worth the video. So uh, if you'll remember in Hair Like a Fox, one of the main hormones I talked about in that book was called prolactin. And so this is a pituitary hormone that is released in stress and has an unfavorable effect on hair follicles as well as lowers the systemic production of energy. So I also talked about it in Organizing the Panic, and if you're vaguely interested in hair loss, you should probably watch those or at least peruse them. So this new study uh, found that in people with uh, premature uh, androgenic alopecia, they call it, or male pattern baldness, they had increased levels of prolactin, uh, lower SHBG or sex hormone binding globulin, and that is uh, pretty consistent with lots of research, but it doesn't really penetrate the mainstream view of hair loss. So it's important to highlight here that this new 2016 study found that prolactin was indeed higher in uh, men with male pattern baldness. And they talk about how it relates to polycystic ovarian syndrome and the two conditions are like male pattern baldness for men and polycystic ovarian syndrome for women. And they're very similar and uh, both can be induced by lowering the thyroid. And I think that's the key to both situations. So that's all, I didn't need, uh, need to rattle on too long about that, but check out the study. You can go to Sci-Hub and get the whole thing or you can read the abstract on PubMed. I think anybody that's interested in resolving hair loss, lowering prolactin should be on the top of somebody's list. And things like calcium, vitamin D, sunlight, uh, et cetera, taking thyroid if you need to, sugar, salt, those all help lower the prolactin and also removing yourself from stressful situations at home or a loved one or work, et cetera. So stress can be, uh, it's, a, it's a big category and lots of things can stress out somebody. So uh, take a look at the study. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.